Decrease bloating. Hi, I'm Angie. Thanks for joining me here in the Perfectly Imperfect Kitchen or Life Square. Welcome to Life Squared, brought to you by the Perfectly Imperfect Network, from imperfect folk everywhere. Decrease bloating. Well, we're bringing it here to you from the kitchen because that's where an awful lot of it happens in the first place. However, many of the cures take place outside of the kitchen. So we're going to start out with number one because we want you to become 75% healthier. Of course, we want you to become 100%. Start out at 75%. Please consider taking up our 75-25 challenge. Number one, yoga. Yoga is a great way to decrease bloating. There are lots of different yoga moves, but probably none better than downward dog. And of course, the planks. But those two exercises are very good at reducing bloating, along with um, the child pose. Number two, walking. Walking cures a lot of ailments. It's great if you can get your speed up to a cardio rate, but even if you can't, get walking. Walk as much as you can throughout the day. Try to reach those 10,000 steps. I know that um, in some cases they're reducing those, but if you can make 10,000 steps a day, I still think that's a great idea. Number three, abdominal massage, especially in a circular mode or push away from your heart. If you want to do it as a couple's massage, what a great idea. Number four, essential oils. Read the labels. Be careful about going outside after you use essential oils. I just had a chemical burn that was induced by the sun and I had used oils the day before. And even though I had taken a shower, even though it was like some 30 hours later, I got a very serious chemical burn. So be very careful with that. Number five, eat more fiber. Now remember, when you go to eat more fiber, do it slowly. You do not want to have your stomach in a lot of pain. Number six, a warm bath. Yeah, just get in that old bathtub that you haven't used for a while. Dust it off and soak it. Number seven, drink more water. Water helps reduce bloating. You need to drink that water for a lot of different reasons. Bloating is just one of them. Number eight, eat meals at the same time every day. Do it as close to the same time as possible. I realize that's difficult sometimes, but try to do it. Number nine, probiotics. We've talked a lot about probiotics. We have a video dedicated to probiotics. Probiotics will also help heal your brain. There are a lot of different reasons to take probiotics. Um, bloating is just one of them. It's just great for your digestive system, great for your brain. Number 10, cut down on sodium and salt. You really need to do that. Now, when it's really hot in the summer, be careful not to cut down too much. So just um, sort of, you know, use your noggin. If it's really hot outside, you're starting to feel a little dehydrated, you need a little salt and sodium. Number 11, try cutting out dairy. Dairy is really a culprit for a lot of bloating. So please do that. Number 12, it is always a good idea when you have bloating to see a doctor and rule out the really bad stuff. But otherwise, try the 11 before that and see if you can cut down on your bloating. We would like to thank you for joining us here at Life Squared. We hope that you will subscribe. Hit the like button. Tell your friends. It, it's all good. And consider checking out that 75-25 challenge. Look for the videos that are labeled 75-25 challenge. Thanks for joining me here in the Perfectly Imperfect Kitchen for Life Squared. We really appreciate you joining us today at Life Squared on the Perfectly Imperfect Network. To get more content, please consider subscribing. If you have any questions or feedback, we'd love to hear from you in the comments section. Thanks for watching.